I miss out on the thrill, the excitement, the adrenaline rush, whatever people yeah. who love riding wow. roller coasters get out of riding them. I miss out wow. on that. That's an wow. option that I have for natural things, but I don't have the option to quit life. Yes. I don't have the option to quit living. I don't have the option to quit life because quitting life for the believer is against God's divine design and purpose that he created us for. So we can't just say, oh, I'm going to quit life because I'm going to quit living for Christ. I'm going to quit living for God because there's a hurdle in the way. Right. We, we don't have that option because when you do that option, you begin to fall into disobedience. Now you're going against the divine design that God created us for. And he created us. When he created Adam and Eve, and Eve he said, go forth. Right. Be fruitful. Mm -hmm and multiply mm -hmm. well god in order for me to be fruitful and multiply i gotta do x y and z and that's too hard mm -hmm. go forth be fruitful and multiply but god i gotta manage my finances better go forth mm -hmm. be fruitful and multiply right. god i gotta treat my wife better it's too hard she's a nag go forth be fruitful and multiply God, <laughs> I don't know nothing that men do bad. I was going to flip it so it would be even, but we're just perfect. So, uh, uh, but, 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 <laughs> but, God, but, 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 but you understand, God don't ask us to, you know, to, 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 to look at the hurdle and turn around. God tells us to go and right. subdue the earth. Mm -hmm. God tells us to go, be fruitful, and multiply. So quitting isn't an op option. God's divine design is that this. God designed man to thrive, not just survive. You heard that? God designed us to thrive, not just survive. Not just work paycheck to paycheck. Not just to barely get by. But he designed us to thrive, to, to be budding. I mean, like really, he, he, he designed for people to desire our lifestyle so that they will be drawn to our lifestyle and then they can tap in to the source of our lifestyle, which is his divine nature. But they can't be drawn to us if we barely getting by. If we're not thriving, then there's nothing for people to see that is alluring or attractive that they would want to be associated with. He designed us to thrive, not just survive. Because everybody, I mean, a, a homeless person is surviving. Come on. A man begging him on the median of the street, he's surviving. He's getting by day to day. But no one is truly desiring that lifestyle. People want to thrive. God designed man to thrive, not just survive. He designed man to excel, not just to exist. We're not just supposed to be here sucking up air waiting to die, but we're supposed to excel. God designed man to flourish, not to flounder. He designed us to blossom and to produce fruit, not just to flop about to and fro like a ship without a sail. God designed man to win, not wallow. He designed us to get the victory. He designed us to be champions, not just to wallow and say, oh, whoa, whoa, it's me. Life is so hard. Everything never goes my way. If I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. He designed you and I to win, not just to wallow. God designed man to stand and not to stumble. God designed us to be steadfast, unmovable, always, not sometimes, always, not most of the time, always abounding in the things of the Lord, not stumbling and fumbling. Giving up on God or staying down in bondage or giving into sin is not an option for the believer.